We honor you and we bless you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We're about to go into a, a special service of dedication. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to welcome the Douglas family and the Costain family, the entire clan that are here to present and dedicate unto the Lord. Our newest addition, Woo! Mr. Justin Woo! Rafika Douglas Jr. Hallelujah. And so with all the family and everybody that have come with them to dedicate this young man we're gonna dance to the front yep. and present this baby to the lord amen hallelujah praise to help me every praise is to our god every word of worship God is awesome. Our God is good. He is truly a God that loves us beyond measure. When you look up at that picture of that young man on the screen, I, I am truly tempted to say some things, but I will not. I will withhold my personal comments. But this young man is truly beautiful to behold. You know, so, 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 the scripture said something about Moses. It says, and the child was beautiful to behold. A young man that is so awesomely cute. I mean, Tam and Justin, y'all are just so blessed. Y'all are just so blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are dedicating this young man and what we're doing is a symbolic thing it's a scriptural thing and what we're doing is acknowledging first of all that as the psalm says in one psalm 127 verse 3 that children are a gift from the lord the fruit of the womb is his reward amen 
So what we're doing is, first of all, we are acknowledging that this young man is a gift from God. Justin and Tamara are only custodians of this young man. They have the awesome and unique responsibility to live for God before him and raise him up in a way that when he does come to know the Lord or when he grows up and can make the decision for himself, he will make a decision for Christ. So even as I welcome the entire family, grandparents on both sides, I honor you, we thank God for you. Elder Wayne, <laughs> Miss Pico, Mama, we thank God for you. Truly, truly, in fact, I, I see almost like four generations here. Yes, it looks like we have four generations. Glory to Jesus. Uncles and cousins. And so before all of these people and before God, I want to ask you, Justin and Tamara, Will you leave your lives before God in a way that will glorify the Lord? And will you demonstrate to Justin Rifika Douglas a way and manner that he will be taught of the Lord? Will you so order your steps and teach him and raise him up in the fear and in the admonition of the Lord? If you will, please say, I do. I do. I do. Amen. Amen. And so, because of your commitment before God and before all of these people, we at Global Outreach Church, we are also held accountable to join you in raising up this young man in the knowledge of God. And so we are excited to give you a little token to help you along with raising him. It is a token of the word of God. Amen. The word of God is a powerful weapon. And so as you train this young man in the knowledge of God, the psalmist also tells us that, you know, children are like warriors. Amen. So we are preparing you to train up the next generation. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to give it to you because I know dad, dad's going to be out there, you know, traveling, but he's also going to be speaking. He's also going to be speaking and training up the boy. Amen. Now, I know you speak a lot. No, actually, I'm going to give the microphone to you. If there are any testimonies that you want to share before God and before all of the people. So me or Tim? I'm giving it to you. Or both of us? Okay, you want, you want to go first? No, I'll let you go first. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. I, I speak a lot because I, because I have to, but I'd be nervous when I have to speak, honestly. But I, I knew that was going to probably make me speak, so I got my thoughts together. You know, um, I want to first give honor to God, um, Pastor Bank and Pastor Sharon, and Pastor IBK, Pastor Lee, Pastor Landry, and, and their wives for being very supportive of us throughout this whole process. We went through some some things with the pregnancy and stuff. We was at the hospital several times, but they were always very encouraging, as well as the family that's here today. Thank y'all all for coming out too. They were all very encouraging and prayed for us, kept us lifted in prayer through the pregnancy and through the delivery. You know, he came, man, he came two months early. <laughs> so he was excited. He was excited to get here. Um, he was very excited to get here. He, He's, a, he's advanced. He came the day before Father's Day, so it was a blessing that he was here actually on Father's Day. I think yeah, that was a big blessing. Um, I'm going to try not to be, be too long-winded, but it, it, children are definitely a blessing of, of the Lord. I truly do believe that, and this is a way that we can give him back by dedicating him to the Lord, give him, give him back to the Lord as well. 
I had a good example growing up as um, my, my parents, they kept me in church all the time. I, I hated it, honestly. I didn't like being at church all the time like that. My, my dad played guitar and he's a deacon at his church in Houston and my mom sung in the choir and she always had me at church and at church like two, three times a week, a lot of times. And when I went to go live with my dad, um, my mom would um, have me call. I went to go live with my dad when I was eight years old. My mom would have me call her every day Read the Bible, New Testament, Old Testament, Proverbs. <laughs> I still do it till this, till this day. Not every day, but I still read the Bible on a regular basis. I didn't like it back then, honestly. And she would have me quote scriptures. Um, several scriptures, she had me memorize and run scriptures with her all the time. And, and one in particular scripture that comes to mind um, is Proverbs 22, 6, and still sticks me to this day, and it's very, it's very relevant today. And, and I'm a, we gonna hold that um, in our hearts and make sure that we raise him. It says, train up a child the way he's going. When he is old, he will not depart from it. And that's definitely the case because I didn't like to go to church and I come to church on my own. Now I watch the service when I'm gone. I know I'm be all the time, but my brother-in-law and my uncle-in-law be having me on the road all the time working, but I be listening while I'm driving all over the country, you know, listening to, to y'all, to, to the church and tuning into the service and all that. So, we're definitely going to raise him up in the fear and admonition of the Lord, and this is no greater honor than that. And I thank y'all for everything and for coming and celebrating with us. Justin pretty much covered everything. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to echo and um, just I want to thank you all as well for coming out and supporting us and as we dedicate baby Justin. And I thank the church. I thank you all for your support. Um, I thank you all for your sacrifice and, and your love. And I, I, like Justin said, we did have a challenging pregnancy, um, but, but God, God, God saw, he saw us through. He saw us through and, and, and we, we see the manifestation with our blessing here and I just thank God for allowing, you know, y'all and all of our support, our family, our friends, um, what we thank God and I just, like, like Justin said, we, we will, vow to raise him up in the Lord. And um, I thank God for my husband because he does, he literally does, that's his mission. And like he said, he didn't want to go to church back in the day when he was a kid, but he is a part of him. And it's not just church, it's his, his lifestyle. And I'm, I'm thankful, I'm thankful that God gave me somebody that <clears throat> I'm getting shook up, <laughs> that could actually lead the family and lead the household and lead, lead our, our son and our future children. And, and you know, and I pray for that because I know my dad was like that and I had that godly example. So I just thank the Lord for just being so diligent. And I thank you all again. And I'm gonna get off this mic. <laughs> Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you all would just stand with me as you stretch forth our hands to the Lord and dedicate baby Justin. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We give you the glory, the praise. We honor you, Father Lord, for baby Justin. Lord, we dedicate baby Justin Rifika Douglas. We dedicate him in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this young man, that he shall be a mighty warrior in your hand. We thank you, Father Lord, that you have sent him for a time such as this, Father Lord. Lord Almighty, we pray, Lord Jesus, that this one shall be for signs and for wonders to the glory of your name. Your spirit of excellence shall be upon him. He will declare to his generation the knowledge of who you are. Father, because of this one, the kingdom of darkness shall be put to shame. Amen. Your kingdom shall be exalted. Yeah. Lord Almighty, because of this one, many will come to know you. Father, he will grow up just as our Lord and Savior did in wisdom and in stature. Father, the favor, the grace of the Lord will encompass him, surround him on every side. As people see him, they will see you in him, Lord Jesus. Father, we declare, Lord Jesus, that this one, Father Lord, shall raise up generations even yet to come after you. 
Lord Almighty, we thank you for the support cast, the supporting cast, Father Lord. For the grandparents, the parents, the uncles, the aunties, and everyone that has come to support this one. We thank you for Global Outreach Church. Even as we commit, Father Lord, to stand with the Douglas family and raise up this mighty warrior to the glory of your name. Father, we receive your grace. We receive that enablement to be able to speak into his life, to correct him even as he may need. Even as that scripture says, that we should train up a child in the way of the Lord, in the way that he should go. Father Lord, we thank you that when he grows up, he will not depart from it. Father, we all commit to train up this child. And Lord, we thank you for your provision, your provision of wisdom for the parents, for every one of us that are standing along with the Douglas family, even as this young man is raised unto you. We give you the glory. We give you the praise, Lord. All the honor and all the adoration, it all belongs to you. Even as we dedicate him again, in Jesus' name, and everybody in agreement with me said, Oh, give the Lord some praise. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Now we may dance back to our seats. Amen. I come before you today. Getting ready to close. I just want to, again, I want to appreciate the entire family. Uh, it is so good to see so many of you. Um, I tell you, when I first joined Walt, that it was Walt Outreach at the time. Elder Wayne was my trainer. I just want to let you know, this is the man that trained me to be an usher in the house of the Lord. I honor you, sir. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, just want to encourage you, for every one of you, we are in the election season.